Abscast. The huge news for France is that Karim Benzema will miss the tournament. Making their initial 26-man squad for the tournament, they flew out there, they started doing some training sessions, and a recurrence and a flare-up of a thigh injury that has been uh, a niggling and recurring injury for him for Real Madrid this season has flared up. He underwent some tests, and it looks like he's going to need three to four weeks to recover, ruling him out for the entirety of the tournament. This is... This is horrible news because obviously Erling Haaland isn't going to be there as Norway didn't qualify. Sadio Mane is missing for Senegal. The likes of Rhys James haven't made it for England. And it's a real shame that players have been trying to push themselves. Part, and this is part of the problem that we, we were saying about a Winter World Cup. That players are going to try and push themselves if they're not 100% fit to be fit. And it looks like Karim Benzema, who's been in and out of the Real Madrid team this season because he's had this niggling thigh injury... Looked like he might have won that, that fitness battle. And now it's flared up on the eve of the tournament and he's and he's going to miss it. And it's just desperately unlucky because over the last 12 to 18 months, and actually beyond that, since Cristiano Ronaldo left Real Madrid for Juventus, he stepped up to the plate. He's been Real Madrid's talisman. He's scored a lot of goals. I think this is the most prolific period of his footballing career. He stepped out of Ronaldo's shadow. He has been super consistent. He's shown incredible leadership qualities. Not only has he been prolific, he scored big goals at big moments. You know, you could be a prolific striker who got who scores goals three and four in five nil routes. But it's another caliber of a man if you're a prolific and you are scoring the goal that brings you back from losing one nil or the goal that gets you the two one victory when it was at one all. Last year when Real Madrid were playing PSG when they were playing Manchester City, they really should have lost those ties. And it was Karim Benzema who almost single-handedly pulled them out of the mire. Big goals, a goal against teams of all stature, whether it's the whipping boys in La Liga or whether it's the big, the big boys in La Liga in Europe. He's come back into the French fold after years in the wilderness. We, we don't need to go into the whole uh, Valbuena issue. He has come back to the French team and he he could well have been the difference between a French side that was a quarter or a semi-finalist and a French side that could realistically compete to retain their world title. It's a double whammy because obviously they were already missing Paul Pogba. So Benzema, as a leader, as a de facto captain, as somebody who has got experience in the big moments multiple Champions League winner, um, the Ballon d'Or winner for his performances over the last 12 months. There's not really a lot of superlatives that you can throw at Benzema other than he's probably been the best, most consistent player in world football for the last year or so. His goals, his selflessness, his work rate, his leadership, his experience, uh, his temperament, France are going to miss him terribly. Abscast.
Abscast.